painful is the study when you lead poem an abandoned bundle by Oswadi Mshad. Hello Tanzania ladies and gentlemen, welcome again in Literature TV online owned by teacher Kaliko Doto Njige, the teacher of literature in English. Dear listeners, listen to the poem called An Abandoned Bundle, written by Oswadi Mshad, a South Africa poet born in 1940, and it criticizes a morally decayed society. Living at the Wise city Jabav, a blacker suburb of Johannesburg. The poet show a mother who gives birth but draped the infant in red bandanas and slow it in the lavish heap, taking an advantage of the morning mist and the smoke the mother leaves the scene feeling innocent. The dogs start eating the baby as the persona finds them in the feeling soul. For the baby, he slow a stone to scare the dogs. Poet Oswald Mshali reminds us to the bad women who slow their best child on their large hip. Listen carefully to the poem by Annie Abandoned Bando by Oswald Mshali from South Africa. The morning mist and chinese smoke of white city above slowed sink yellow as past ozing from a gigantic soul. It is most our little houses like fish caught in a net, scavenging dogs dropped in lead bandanas of blood, fought fiercely for a squirming bundle. I slow a blaze. They bear the fangs, flicked vivid tongues of scarlet, and scarred away, leaving a maturated carpus, an infant dumped on a lap sheep. Oh, baby in the manga, sleep well. On human dung, it is mother, had melted into the lay of the rising sun. Her face glittering with innocence, her heart pure as untrumped dough. Habaria kompenzi msikrizaji wa lite ya TV online. Hasa mwanafunzi wa gidato cha tatu cha ane cha tano pamoja na cha sita. Wanachuo walimu wa English language pamoja na lite in English wa kufunzi. Leo nimekuandalia uchambuzi wa shairi nalo famika kwa jina la ani abando ni bando. Mana yake ni mtoto aliyetelekezwa na mama yake yani alitupwa jalalani akiwa amefungwa na kitambaa chekundu au maana ingine ni fungu lilo tupwa au fungu lilo telekezwa jalalani mwandishi kawalenga wanawake binti wanaotoa mimba wanaotupa watoto wao majalalani Wacha, watoto wachanga chooni pamoja na majalalani mwandishi wa shairi ni Oswald Mshari kutoka nchi ya South Africa katika jiji la KwaZulu Natal. Mwandaji wa uchambuzi wa hili shairi ni mimi teacher Kaliko Doto Njige, mwalimu wa literature in English. Hebu tuendelee na uchambuzi wa shairi la Aniabando ni bando, yaani fungu lilotelekezwa au mtoto aliyetelekezwa na kutupwa jalalani na mama ake akiwa amefungwa kita, kitambaa chekundu. Persona yani mzungumzaji katika shairi hili ni mpitaji yani ni mpita njia aliyeona mtoto anashambuliwa na mbwa jalalani yani analiwa na mtu na mtu analiwa na mbwa katika maeneo ya jalalani tunaambiwa na huyu mpita njia kwamba asubuhi kulikuwa na ukungu umetanda na madohani yani sehemu ya kuchomea takataka nayo yalikuwa yanatoa moshi Mweupe katika jiji la Jabavu nchini South Africa. Hiyo siku asubuhi kuna mama alimtupa mwanae jalalani yani mtoto mchanga na akatokomea. Mwandishi anasema kwamba huyo mtoto alikuwa amefungwa kwenye kitambaa yani leso chekundu na kutupwa na mama yake jalalani. Na mama akatokomea. 
Ndio maana mwandishi bwana Oswald Mshari akaandika title yake An Abandoned Bando. It is show a woman who draped the newborn baby in the form of bando using the bandanas. Neno bandanas ni neno la Kihindi akimaanisha leso au kitamba chekundu alichokuwa amefungwa mtoto. And abandons it on a rubbish heap to be eaten by dogs. Mwandishi katuonesha mpitaji akipita maeneo karibu na lile jalala alilotupwa mtoto akaona mbwa wakiwa wana wanamla huyo mtoto akabidi achukue tofali na kwa na kufukuza hao mbwa hebu sikiliza anavyosema huyu mpitaji I threw a black they bared fangs flicked velvet tongues of scarlet mpitaji alianza kulia kuzunika na kunena maneno juu ya kina mama wanaowatupa wanao wanawake wanaozaa watoto na kuwatupa majalalani hawana huruma hebu sikiliza maneno ya hususan ya mpita huyu njia oh baby in the manga sleep well on human dung it is mother had met into the lay of the rising sun her face glittering with innocence her heart pure as untrampled dew mpenzi msikizaji huyu mpitaji ana maumivu makubwa sana juu ya maiti ya mtoto huyu aliyekuwa anashambuliwa na mbwa na baadaye alianza kumombea mtoto apumzike kwa amani let us look themes found in this poem as follows first themes which is moral decay example mother in the poem has lost her sense of humanity and the dare draped her own baby this is shown in stanza 5 her face glittering with innocence a heart pure as antramti do mpenzi msikizaji hapa tunapata dhamira ya umunyoko wa maadili hasa kwa kina mama ambao hawana huruma kwa watoto wao the second theme which is responsibility example many women are irresponsible nowadays when it is come to motherhood this is shown in stanza 5 it is mother had made into the lays of rising sun kiangalia katika dhamira nyingine ya pili kutowajibika kwa kina mama mama wanakwepa kwa kuwajibika katika kutoa matunzo mema kwa watoto wao. Kwa mtu anaamua kumtupa mtoto wake. Kwa tunaona hali ya kutowajibika katika majukumu kama mama. The set seems which is simplest. The person showed that the baby was being consumed while are living with sensibility. This is shown in stanza 4. Oh baby in the manga, sleep well on human dung. Hapo tunapata dhamira nyingine ya mtu mwenye huruma ambaye mwenye mpita njia anaonekana kwamba ni mtu mwenye huruma ndio maana kapita mwenye ndio yeye aliyetusababisha mpaka tukajua kisa cha hawa kina wanawake wanaowatupa watoto wao Dear listeners the tone is sympathetic to the child the mood is also sympathetic tunaambiwa kwamba kwamba ukiangalia katika hali ya huyu mpita njia yuko kwenye hali ya huruma na pia mimi msomaji wa hili shairi nimeuvaa nime ule husika wa mpita njia kwa na mimi lazima nipata hali ya kusikitika juu ya kina mama wanaowatupa hawa watoto wao ndio maana mudi maana yake ile hali ya msomaji kwamba yeye yuko hali gani lakini toni tunaangalia ni hali ya msemaji yani ni persona anayeongea ndani ya shairi Let us look language used in this poem. Tuangalie tamazeli za sehemu au lugha iliyotumika ndani ya hili shairi. The first language used which is iron example in a poem. Her face glittering with innocence, her heart pure as untrammeled dew. We expect the mother of feeling guilty and full of iron. Tumepata kwamba iron maana yake ni kile kinyume maana yake. Tumeona kuna baadhi ya maneno mengine yametumika yako kinyume. Kwa maana mama inaonyesha kwamba alikuwa na furaha kumbe ni kinyume ya maana yake kwamba mama hakuwa na mapenzi mema kwa mtoto wake. The second Hiko speech which is simi. Tuangalia simili ambayo example her heart is pure is untrampled dew. Kwa is kwa inaashiria ni simili. The said a language used with allusion. Matumizi lugha za Biblia. The word oh babe in the manga refer to the biblical condition of Jesus Christ who slept in the Jerusalem manga. Kwa hiyo tunaona matumika matumizi maneno ya Biblia yametumika ndani ya shairi. Another figure which is symbolism an abandoned band symbolize babies who are abolited or slowed away kwamba abandoned band hii ni symbolism ambayo kimaanisha kwamba ni wale watoto wanaotupwa majalalani the baby in the manga symbolizes innocence in of the child whose life is shortened by their mother kwamba a baby in the manga ni wale watoto inawakilisha kwamba wale watoto wanaotupwa na mama wanaishi kwa muda mfupi 
the mother symbolizes the woman who morally corrupts. When you say it, kuna neno ambayo maza mama ambayo ina symbolize wale mama ambao hawana upendo kwa watoto wao let us learn a message from this poem women should take the lessons be taking care of their message tukiangalia ujumbe tunaopata kwamba wanawake watakuwa wajibike katika majukumu yao ya kuwalea watoto wao abortion should be discouraged at all cost kwamba masuala ya kutoaji mimba atakuwa ya pigwe marufuku yasiendelee yasi the poem is very relevant to the, our society today as there are many women who abolish their un, unborn children or abandon them in the hostel, lords, lapish pit as a slow them in the latrine pit. Tunaomba kwamba kuangalia shairi letu lina uhusiano na maisha yetu na waishi wapo kina mama wanaofanya mambo kama hao ya kuwatupa watoto wao na wanawake na mabinti wanaotoa mimba kila siku wapo na hii jambo litokea katika jamii zetu. Mpenzi msikilizaji Walicha ya TV online tumefika tamati yani mwisho wa uchambuzi wa hili shairi letu. Napenda kuwakumbusha kusubscribe, ku like, ku share na ku comment chini ya hii video. Pia napenda kukutangazia uchambuzi wa kazi mbalimbali za fasihi kama vile novel play, short story na poems mbalimbali nishachambua. Cha msingi ingia kwenye account yangu ya YouTube andika jina Teacher Kaliko Doto Njige na uandike kitabu au shairi lolote unalolitaka au nitafute kwa namba 0676861579 au namba nyingine 0769416782 asanteni sana asanteni sana bye